Hey guys, it's um, Casey here, and um, I've been having a lot of stuff on my mind here lately. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. This is gonna be a trigger warning for anybody who's sensitive with online predators and Discord predators and stuff like that. I've been watching a lot of like Discord and like predator um, pedophile type videos on YouTube because I was bored. And, um, yeah, and I realized something today that happened to me, and I was too, um, naive to, to think about it. Um, I do want to say if that any of my people, any of these people that I mentioned is watching, and you're trying to cancel me or shut me down, I'm sorry how you feel because I don't have any evidence. Um, I blocked this person a while back whenever it happened and I have no idea if I started it, if I wanted to do the things that happened or if they started it first. But um, this person is a part of the MSP community. They are active on the USA server. Um, they are a hacker. They hack MSP and they work with Dark Source and these people that are behind MSP are behind these hacks and stuff. Not Dolo, but um, like Dark Source, and you guys know them. Especially the USA server is very known for these people, and you guys should know who they are. But um, I first want to start off saying that I am so sorry for anything that I caused while doing uh, the Bufferly hack video. I didn't realize until a few days ago that what I put up there was wrong and what I kept up there was wrong. I didn't. I thought that all the comments that I got were just criticizing me and, you know, were just anti bufferly and were just trolls. But then I got some actual people on my Discord server saying that. That, I, that they got viruses on their computer and some people op were openly up about how the owner was a pedophile and it just it I just feel so bad for these people and I'm so sorry I didn't mean to you know t to make you guys you know upset or I didn't make any I didn't mean for this to happen to y'all and I'm so sorry I just I'm I'm just shocked about that people would do this in this awesome community of MSP and just what people would do for some money is just insane and it's so sick and I'm just so sorry I know I'm crying right now but I just I feel so bad for you guys and and you guys can try to cancel me I understand I probably deserve it honestly but I just I just want to get that out of the way before I go any further Anyway, um, I do want to say that, let me clear this out, let's, let's, let's just, this incident happened a few months ago with a user, Discord user by the name God X or something like that, Nate, I don't know, I do have tea about this person, they are on my, uh, MSP messages, uh, we, he met me on MSP because he talked about my video that I had, like, six or some months ago talking about uh, I think it was like a hack or something I have no idea I think it was exposing this uh, dark source or whatever and we just talked and hit it off then on MSP he started he he did like the role play type thing it was like hugs you in like the asterisk and and then he kept going on and on and on. He's like, what I say here will be hashed out by MSP, which means it was dirty. So can we go over to Discord? What is your Discord user? He said that. I will try to find screenshots of this. I'm not sure exactly what it said, so please ignore me if I was wrong. But... Yeah, and then I was like, yeah, you can have my Discord. Because, you know, I was a naive person. I was... By the time... Yes, I was 17. This happened a few, like, about six or so months, six, five months ago. So I was 17, which I was legal or underage, illegal in the United States. So, um, and then he, we moved our Discord. And I was playing along because, you know, I've role-played with people online before. It wasn't much. It wasn't erotic. But then this quickly turned to erotic. And I was trying to s stay away from that. 
and I, and I stayed away as much as I could. And I was just playing along with it, you know. I thought that he was a cool guy until he stated that he was 21. And I was like, oh, he's a little bit older. It's fine. I have friends that have, like, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends are, like, in their 20s. And they're, like, 18 or so. But then the realization hit after watching these videos that I was 17. I was underage. And he was trying to erotic role play with me. And I have a feeling that he got off to that. And I did send pictures of me. I think he did say that I was cute or whatever. And, um, he was, I guess he was trying to hit on me. And, you know, I was just so naive about that. And I just, I'm just so sorry if you guys, um, ran into this person. And I'm just, I just, I just feel so bad that... I kept this a secret from you guys because I know that this is a serious, serious topic and that it shouldn't, you know, be talked about light or lightly. And I'm just, I just realized this and I'm just so upset about it. I love all my fans. I love everybody that comes across to me. And I just, I just want you guys to know that if anything ever happens to you, you want to share something anonymously on my YouTube about something that happened to you, I will gladly do it for you. I will do anything to help you guys. And I just, once again, I do want to say I'm sorry. I know this video is probably really short, but the lesson learned from this is be careful who you talk to on Discord. Be careful what you say out there on the internet. Be careful on just just have common sense. And if and if someone's trying to you know hit hit on you or talk to you, say yo, what is your age? And you state your age if you're underage. Because if they do something that you're uncomfortable with, which is this person, Nate, he was, I was pretty uncomfortable, but I played along like I wasn't uncomfortable. Say that, yo, I'm uncomfortable and I'm underage, so if you, if you don't stop, I will take screenshots and I will report you to my police. And they'll do that. They've gotten Discord users put in prison for this, so... Don't be, don't be scared to do that. Don't be scared to do that at all. But, um, if you're in the Bufferly Discord server, because I heard that the owner is a pedophile, but I have no, I have no proof of that, so do not quote on me that. Don't quote me on that. Leave Discord server. Block the user from your, from your, um, you know, thing. And just delete Bufferly. Delete it. He's not going to continue to work on it. I don't think he is because he stated that he was done with MSP and that's probably why he's getting hate now. So, but yeah, just delete it, uninstall it, and just reset your computer if you can. I haven't reset it and I have gotten like a small like virus like pop up, but I've deleted it whatever popped up, and I think that might be it, but I'm not sure because it says it's from Chrome, but so far I have nothing wrong with my computer, so, I mean, what, just, just delete it, uninstall it, whatever. If you want more information on this, go watch uh, Black Knight 777's video, I think that's her username, sorry if I butchered it, it will be linked down in the pinned comment, and um, just more resources will be pinned there if I can find any, but, um, I'm not going to block or report Nate to the authorities because I do think that I'm partially guilty for that. I have no idea what happened because this was a pretty good bill a long time ago. It was like half a year ago or so. But, um, and I blocked his, his messages and, uh, you know, his user from my, um, Sorry, um, I blocked him from my Discord, and so I could not find my messages. I was going to try to find him to screenshot him. Ooh, sorry, my cat's destroyed everything up front, but it's okay. But, um, I could not find the messages at all, but I do have some, um, I do have some screenshots of him, um, 
being very racist and um, just some bad stuff in general. So please watch out for this guy. I have no idea what his account is now because I don't associate with him anymore. Um, but yeah, I am just so sorry. And if if any of these people try to attack you because you're a fan of me, please tell me. I will I will make sure that they stop it. I don't care how, how much. I don't care if I. I just I just I just want this to be over, man. I thought 2021 was gonna be good. You know this freaking <sighs> buffery stuff that had to happen, and I just feel so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, anyway, I know this video is gonna be talking blab and just crap, but this is serious, and just just stay away from MSP hacks. It's not that. It's not worth. It's not worth having those memories of these people. It's not worth it. I'm clearly upset about that. You guys can't see me, but I'm I'm tearing up right now. It's not worth having those memories in your mind for some star coins. It's not worth putting people in danger because of this. And I know I'm probably, you know, being over dramatic or whatever, but I'm just really sorry that I kept it up and I didn't share this sooner because who knows how many people that they have messed with and once again i'm sorry i'll go now i'm gonna go i'm gonna end the video soon